Okay, so you just, we'll do the police chief's transition plan and uh, then we'll get into that. Chief. Yes. So you have your transition plan together? Uh, my part of the transition plan together. Yes. Okay. You want to give us a, a quick update on what you think and how it's going to go and what date you're still looking at to wrap up? I was really kind of hoping to hear from you all on Could a projected time frame. I haven't heard anything different. I know we were looking at the beginning of March, but I'm not really privy to the information as far as the, the background status or what else needs to be done to put the new person in place. And so we're kind of just standing fast. Okay, well, based on your plan, do you think you have enough time between now and the, the end of the month? And, well, it'd be well, the first, uh, of the first of the March, or do you want do you need to think about doing it a little longer? It really kind of depends. I think the biggest problem for us is going to be scheduling issues and contractual concerns as we move forward because we're kind of on a tight fr time frame right now as far as uh, the way that we put out our open shifts and fill the schedule month to month it typically goes out sometime around the 15th it's just a couple days away and so not really having all the answers kind of leaves us up in the air uh, as far as what we need to do on the inside to make the changeover you know it's the officers are right next to each other it's not a big deal as far as moving things around or Basically, bringing up uh, new ideas or new job functions for different people, or shifting supervisors between shifts or something. That's not really the concern. The concern is more uh, kind of on the front lines and how we're going to uh, adapt to the new shifts and get people in place by that time frame. Okay, so if we tell you we're, we're kind of holding to the time period of being done with this, um, the first meeting of March, you can go forward and let us know if that's going to work for you. March 4th. Yes, yeah, March, March 4th. 4th. And we typically start our work week on a Saturday. So I don't know if that really makes much of a difference to anybody. But Does it as far as the transition goes, I mean, my salary would be, you know, if it's, I think March 4th is a Wednesday or a Thursday. It's a Thursday. So technically Friday. I'd be sort of in like no man's land. <laughs> well, we're talking one day. Um, so we could do the, the transition for March 6th, 6th, which would be the, the pay period. Pay period. period. And that probably makes the most sense to start it on at the beginning of a pay period. Okay, so it would be the 7th, Saturday? Yeah, whatever ending, Saturday. Ending. So in that or case. Week ending the 6th and then the starting, <coughs> starting salary on the 7th. Yeah, we can verify that with John. So in that case, we'll do an extension for two days. And then so we would do it at that meeting. That we three days. Yeah, but if we have to extend mm -hmm. the acting chief's right. agreement for two days, and then mm -hmm. if we have agreement from the prospective chief, right. we make him on, the, on that. Yeah. Okay. So why don't we shoot for that time period? Um, let us know. So how, if we're shooting for March 7th, how is that going to affect your your shift bid on open ships and everything like that? Well, after I leave here, I mean, basically we're pulling the trigger on the whole plan. So right. when I go back and uh, my shifts will change, I'll return to midnights. The midnight sergeant will, or the acting sergeant will be shifted to evenings, most likely, uh, unless he chooses to stay on mids as a patrolman. Uh, and then the new chief will uh, decide how he's going to implement either a permanent sergeant or uh, keep the acting sergeant in place. That'll be up to how long he wants to do that. We've had some discussion about interviews from within and how this is going to happen, but as far as the time frame, we've really just been kind of waiting on this process that we're in right now. So that'll be the first thing. Uh, there may potentially be a new shift bid that's put out to everybody because people are getting moved around a little bit. Obviously, the Sergeant Mason coming off of the shift, if for some reason the acting sergeant on midnights decides not to move, that now leaves an open shift on the evening shift, and so there's some decisions that need to be made. And it's all going to have to happen over the next two weeks, basically. And then the acting sergeant, his, uh, his appointment expires when? The same as... Were you on midnights? I'm all confused. You were on midnights. The, uh, 
came out. Yeah. That's entirely in your discretion. Yes. Yeah. But when but when does it expire? It doesn't expire until you say it does. <coughs> right. Unlike I, unlike I, the chief, where you have a, uh, uh, agreement? an actual yeah. agreement because he's not not part of the union, but he is. Mm -hmm. uh, the acting sergeant is within the union. He's just assigned under management rights. You know, he's still missing an officer, just as you said. Uh, uh, evening shift won't be covered, so if John would move <coughs> the evenings as still as the sergeant. You would you would have an officer. So we still have to on, on the midnight shift is where the vacancy would be. That's well, where the you're going back to that position, aren't you? But, well, it's current because with Mason leaving his position, it still creates a whole new vacancy. Mm -hmm. Yes, the vacancy doesn't go away. Okay, yeah. Right. So the, so our, from our standpoint, we want to go ahead and we're going to try to stay in, within the numbers we have so March well our meeting on March 3rd <coughs> March 4th is when we'll probably because we're going to shoot to confirm everything and have it transition on the Saturday that Saturday will be the day we, we and just transition to so we'll end up extending you and then making the official start date on that Saturday that's what we're going to shoot for right now Sounds good. That sounds fine. My only concern is if we put all this in place and then you all come back with a different date and it kind of shakes things up. It would only be a week later. So if we actually <laughs> do have a, uh, if we have a, if we do come back with a different date, we would just, because we're going to meet the, we meet the first three week, first three Wednesdays. So then it would only be moving it 11th and 14th. Yes. <clears throat> but we, like I said, it potentially creates a problem if we end up having to do a shift bid and people are on their shifts at that point. Okay. I think we should is stick it, to the time frame. We is, yeah. Well, we don't have we don't have the Chief, final say in this. Right. Chief, is it just is it what we really what, don't? What? Is it just easier? What's left? To, does it just make it a cleaner process to say to, to do a new open shift bid when we start the transition rather than doing one, you know in four days and then coming back <laughs> three weeks later and doing another one? We can do that. The, the problem with that is that uh, requested days off and things right. need to be filled. And so if, if we start to backfill shifts and then those people now we're going backwards, they give us in the middle of the month, for example. Right. So people may not be on those shifts that they've requested off. And so it kind of creates an issue internally. Okay. Over time, it's still with people who might not be in that shift anymore to, to work it. Or okay. can't work it at that point. All right. So it creates a little bit of a problem if that's what well, we we're could make an happen. effort just to do an executive session next Wednesday. We could, but it's it it still depends on the person that we make the offer to accepting the right. offer. Right. Right. Yes. right. <laughs> but we could still do that. Yes, we can. Yes. Yes, that's not a problem. <coughs> yes. So we can do a lot. No, of we can do we yes, can do a lot, do. but it still relies right. on right. the There's person that's true. accepting. Just do it. We have only one thing left in the, in the process we're doing, and that is underway now. Yeah. And we expect to get a pass all one one thing. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so one thing left. Let's. We're, let's aim we're planning aim. for Next March seventh. March seventh as a start date. And we should plan on doing a. We can plan negotiating on that. a session next Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. That's not Just a problem. only for that. Right. We can play. You understand that? I, I got that. that. There's still, and do, I mean, I hate making an agreement with somebody who hasn't, you know, he hasn't I even know. got the offer yet. We're going to finish that tonight. He'll get the offer, and he may come back and say, no, I don't want to talk to you. Or, no, I don't want, I don't want to take a week and, or two weeks to look it over. Right. So, so don't. So we're just proceeding as well. Yes. Right. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. So, so that's what we're going to try to do. Okay. And thank you for putting together good. this document to help us to see the transition what you needed to do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much.